Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mura here, I hope you guys are having a blast with Street Fighter 6. Today I've got 10 tips that will make you stronger in Street Fighter 6. Without wasting any time, let's get into it with number 1. As you may know, in Street Fighter 6, characters don't typically have many plus on block normals. As a matter of fact, there are characters, for example, like Ken, who don't even have a single plus on block normal attack. And due to this, the opponents will likely try to match their fastest attacks during your block strings. How do you beat this? Well, use chain light attacks or rapid fire light attacks. Pretty much you're canceling your lights into each other. This will frame trap the opponent even if the light isn't plus on block. The cancel will still cause it to frame trap the opponent and you will get counter hit combos that can lead to big damage. Now there is another reason that this is great to use and that is because it will also be very good against drive impact. Your jabs will give you more hit stun allowing you to react easier to drive impact. And speaking of drive impact. Drive impact is a very powerful mechanic, people use it all the time, you have to be thinking about it all the time to be able to react to it, and if there is one tip I can give you to help you against drive impact, it is to set a specific button to drive impact on your control scheme. I know that by default it's set to the L1 button or the left shoulder if you're playing on bad. Some people will have difficulties with this because they need their triple punches and triple kicks for OD moves or EX moves, so they will remove it and rely on heavy punch plus heavy kick, but I have found this method to be much slower. Uh, I know it's inconvenient for bad users especially, but trust me, if you set a specific button to drive impact, you will find that reacting to it becomes much easier. There are a lot of moves in Street Fighter 6 where the opponent will attack you from an airborne state. I'm talking moves like Ken's Dragon Lash Kick, Kimberly's Dropping Elbow. These attacks, when you happen to hit them out of the air, the opponent will be in a juggle state. Most players will just knock them off and not really get much out of it, but you can actually get full on juggles here to greatly increase the damage output you're getting on these characters. This will need some labbing, I will be doing some matchup specific videos later, but if your opponent is doing attacks like these, try to maximize your damage output and learn your juggle combos for these situations. And speaking of combos, if there is one thing that you need to know about combos in Street Fighter 6, it is how to maximize your corner carry. Getting your opponent to the corner in Street Fighter 6 should be your first priority because there isn't a single character in this game that would not benefit from that. So when you're comboing the opponents, always go for routes that will give you the most corner carry because that is when drive impact, drive rush, mixing them up becomes really scary and throw loops gets even more deadly. And speaking of Drive Rush, well remember to use Drive Rush. Drive Rush is a gigantic deal in this game. Using it raw, especially when you got your opponent thinking a lot about Drive Impact, is very beneficial. You will get in, you will have plus frames, and you will instantly get to apply your pressure. The key here is to condition them first. If you're using it willy nilly all the time, they will have easy time reacting to it, but if you're mixing and matching between it, drive impact, regular dashes, jumps, etc., it is a very powerful technique. Following up on this, another thing that is very powerful in this game is buffering light attacks into drive rush. And here I'm talking specifically about the standing light kick type moves where they are low risk, they're not really committing much, there is no priority system in this game, so if you're catching a move in startup, you can always get massive combos out of them, get the opponent to the corner and again you start to apply your pressure. Street Fighter 6 is a game where meter management and meter usage is the most important. The drive economy will dictate how round goes during Street Fighter 6. I said focus on corner carry, but another thing that you should absolutely focus on is your drive gauge and more importantly your opponent's drive gauge. If you have an opportunity to drain them out of drive, always go for it. So try to use drive impacts, try to use supers, anything that you can do to attack your opponent drive, deplete it, preferably putting them in burnout state, is very big in this game. 
And speaking of burnout, abuse the living hell out of burnout. Once the opponents are in burnout, they are very, very vulnerable. And some attacks become ridiculously laughable. Something like Shun Li's heavy kick lightning legs, that becomes a frame trap. Your Hazanchu becomes a full screen getting tool. You really get to abuse your opponent and drive, deal a lot of ship damage, drive rush, and all of that becomes very powerful. And your opponents will need to use their level 1 supers if they want to have an option against your drive impact. Even if you eat a level 1 super, this means that your opponent can't use their CA or critical art against you and they don't get out of the burnout state if they use the level 1 super. It's a very powerful technique and remember there are characters for example like DJ and Zangief who don't even have an invincible level 1 super that they can use against drive impact once they are in burnout. Gief super is invincible but it hits in the air and he will still get punished. So. Remember to abuse this, it's really really big. Now let's talk about the forgotten mechanic in this game and that is drive reversals. Drive reversals are actually really useful here because it especially counters button into drive rush. This is where you will need to use it the most. If your opponents are really abusing this, remember that you are losing drive as you're blocking their attacks, so you're already losing drive. And when you're doing a button into drive rush, that is them spending three bars. With drive reversal, you will get them off of you at the cost of two. And speaking of mechanics that people forget to use in Street Fighter 6, yes, parries. Parries are vital in this game and just like Drive Impact, I highly recommend that you set a parry button in your control scheme. The default control scheme is honestly amazing. Parries can be used in many situations. Remember when I was talking about offense and most moves being either neutral or negative on block? Well, that is when you can start incorporating offensive parries, so you're predicting that they will try to take back their turns or gamashing, and you get the punish on them. Parries are also amazing versus fireballs because it will allow you to recover some of your drive gauge, and you will not really have to deal with the pushback on block and having to lose drive just to simply blocking fireballs. Parries are also amazing to use against mix-ups. Anytime your opponent is doing a lot of mixes where there is low overhead etc, Barry's will deal with all of that. Barry's are also amazing against drive impact. If you happen to get a drive impact and you get the perfect parry on that, well, you will get to punish them with your own drive impact, so you will gain drive and then punish them for using that. Even if you with a normal and you think your opponent might try to go for a wave punish, it is honestly not that bad of an idea to hope for a parry and go for a wishful parry. It's almost never bad to use it, even on wake up sometimes, because a lot of people have their meters down. If they are really predictable with it, parry on wake up. Parries all around are a fantastic tool in this game to deal with a lot of options. It is really the wild card of Street Fighter 6, and from my gameplay experience, I have seen people not really use it that much. And that's about it for today's video. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment. It helps the channel so much. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages in the description. Let me know if you want more of these videos. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.